Picture this, if you will. It's Friday night and you're settling down on the sofa, trying to relax, and suddenly, bring, bring, and you pick up the phone, the old school way, Gen Z, this is a phone, and you pick up the phone and suddenly you've got a gig. And it's amazing, but then you panic because you suddenly realise you haven't got the accessories you need. You've got your saxophone and mouthpiece, but what other stuff might you need? What other things might you need to do your gig? What if you're going on tour? These are all essential questions. And thankfully, here at sax.co.uk, we're here to run you through the six most essential accessories that any gigging saxophonist might need. The case seems like a really obvious thing to point out, but it is because the case is so important. Your saxophone would have come in a case, but that stock case will be a bit boxy, maybe a bit lightweight and not really up to the task of being knocked about a little bit. Here at sax.co.uk, we've got lots of cases at lots of different price ranges, but if you are gigging and you're going to be moving it around, really you're going to want something a bit more robust. It's your pride and joy. You want to make sure you're looking after it. So three different cases, three different ideas. Number one, storage. So here is the ProTech Pro pack. So this guy right here has got so much storage in there. So if you want to make sure you're keeping everything you need for your gigs, microphones, cleaning supplies, reed cases, everything in one place, this is the one for you. Lots of storage space on the outside as well as the inside. Downside, a little bit heavy, wood lined, and also because it's got all of this storage space, it can be a bit difficult to get on as hand luggage on a plane. Speaking of planes, if you are looking to hand luggage and you want the smallest case possible, you're going to want the Ban Cabine. Now this little tiny lovely thing is so small. So this is the alto size here, they do the tenor size as well. And the tenor is about the only case you can get on as hand luggage on a plane. Really rock hard outside, inside is lovely and plush. Downside, no storage space at all. Even the neck and the mouthpiece will have to go down the bell. No storage space. Now. If you do have to put your saxophone in hand, hold luggage, please don't. But the only thing that's really gonna hold up to the test is this right here, the Hiscox. Now the artist case can withstand nearly a ton of crush weight. Big ruby inside, lots of storage space, and also is great for saxophones that maybe have different bell alignments, like older saxophones, vintage horns. It's a perfect case. We had a customer once give us a ring from the States after a hurricane, and his whole studio was destroyed. And the only thing that left, was left standing was his Hiscox with his perfectly preserved saxophone. This guy is the heavy duty all rounder here. Three different cases, three different ideas. Get yourself a good case, it's well worth it. The neck strap is an often overlooked part of your overall saxophone setup. Lots of players just take the one that's in their case, put it around their neck and say, that will do. Now that's just not good enough if you are a gigging musician, unless you've got a really nice strap in your box. The thing is, you need to consider two things. One, how comfortable you are. If you're gigging, you don't want to get bad backs, bad necks and horrible stuff like that. Two, how rad you look, because when you're playing the saxophone, you want to look as cool as possible. Good news, you play the saxophone. You are already very cool. So we've got three straps right here. Let's go through them together with magic. Magic. So strap one, comfort is key. If you don't want something that's going to go right over your neck, if you're playing lots and lots, the ballam is going to be for you. Instead of going over your neck, it goes over your shoulders. So when it's on your body, distributes the weight nice and evenly across your back and shoulders rather than over your neck. These ballams are amazing, but mostly designed for tenor sax players. If you're an alto player or a baritone player, do make sure you come into store and check it out if you can. Strap number two, if you are a function musician, you want something smart but unassuming, something that's comfortable but blends in. It's going to be the Dave Guadala. Very, very smart gold adjuster and gold hook and very luxurious leather strap, neck strap area here. Very, very comfortable on. 
it's very, very smart and ultimately blends into your dress blacks nice and easily. Finally, if you do not want to blend in and you instead want to stand out, the BG Zen is for you because the adjuster is this bad boy. Look at it, it's absolutely massive. It looks smart, but it also serves a function because rather than an extract coming in and choking you when it's adjusted and with weight, it's gonna sit nice and straight, nice and easily, and nice and comfortably over your saxophone, making sure your airway is nice and open, and it stands out. If you are a pop saxophonist or a DJ saxophonist, this guy is just a work of art and an accessory in and of itself. You may be thinking, oh, I don't need a reed case. All of my reeds already come in a little case, which is fine. But the problem is they are not humidified controlled. The humidity when you're playing a saxophone, going from moist to not, moist to not, can make reeds really wavy. So getting a humidified control case like this one here can make all the difference. This case, add a little bit of water into this tray. Other cases use a sachet. Humidity is controlled, nice straight reeds, jobs are good. Cleaning supplies, they are boring. However, they are super essential for making sure you're maintaining the health of your saxophone for the long term. The most essential of those is going to be a saxophone pull through very simple piece of kit and couldn't be easier to do. All you need to do is take the weighted end of the cloth, drop it down your saxophone, tilt your saxophone, get covered all in your spit, oh it's lovely, and then pull the cloth through. Nice and easy, moisture taken out from the inside of your saxophone. However, doing that over and over again is not always going to guarantee you won't get a sticky G sharp and a sticky C sharp. So if you're during a gig and you suddenly find yourself sticking, powder papers are very, very useful. It's a little piece of paper, very thin, with a bit of powder on there. It can just remove some of that moisture. Do not use these long term though, because they do leave a residue. So instead, move on to pad dryers, especially after your gig put the pad dryer on, pull it through the um, pad, jobs are good. Finally, if you want to make sure you're not having sticky pads at all, key leaves are gonna be what you need. Very, very simple piece of kit again. All you do is you pop one underneath your E flat key and the other one underneath your C sharp to prop open the G sharp. No stickiness, jobs are good and clean saxophone. <sighs> Having a good stand is essential for any gigging saxophonist. You can't be putting your saxophone on the floor because someone's gonna tread on it. And you can't be putting it on an amp or anything like that because you know what guitarists are like. They just push stuff over and slap it with their guitar, play their plectrums on the keys. I don't know what guitarists do. Either way, you're gonna need a good stand. Now there's two schools of thought here. One is you go for something very secure like this Hercules stand here. So this has got grabbing arms. So when you put the saxophone on, it will hold the, on the bell and make it nice and secure. This also folds down very small, making it nice and easy to carry. But as you can see, it's a bit stiff because it's designed to be secure. The other thing you could do is go for something super minimalist like this saxy stand. I'm not kidding, it's called a saxy stand. And this can actually fold right down into the bell of the saxophone being very, very small. And is very, very minimalist. It's not gonna be as secure as the Hercules, but this is gonna be nice and easy to gig with. For some of you gigging musicians, you might be satisfied with the sound person sticking a microphone in front of you and you just blow into that and that's great. However, if you are looking to elevate your live music game, the next thing you might need is a microphone. So, there are two ways you can think about this. One is getting a wired microphone, like this AKG here. Very simple, you just clip it to the end of the bell of your saxophone, and then you plug it in at the bottom. Super, super simple. This will give you some flexibility whilst you're playing. You will have a bit more direction because you won't have just the microphone in front of you you can move around, but you will still be strapped in. Another option is to get a wireless system, like this cloud vocal system, which has been super, super popular with us here. It's very, very simple. All you do is you stick it onto the bell of your saxophone again, and then this has all of the information it needs to send over to this receiver. 
and you can mess around with effects, you can add different echoes, and ultimately it lets you do stuff like this. At the end of the day, a microphone can be the difference between you having a really great active gig or feeling a bit pedestrian on the side. Get yourself a good microphone set up and then you will be able to move and dance just like me, but better. So those are the six essential accessories that any gigging saxophonist might need. If you want to know a little bit more about each of these items, do check out the link below to my blog, all about these items and more. If you have any questions at all, do not hesitate to email us, give us a ring, come into store. We're all gigging saxophonists as well as handsome presenters. And we are here to help you if you need anything at all. If you can think of any other accessories that a gigging saxophonist might need, pop them in the comments. Make sure to like, share and subscribe to the video. Thank you very much. We'll see you next time.